In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Hostinger domain to Infinity Free. So here's Infinity Free. I'm going to show you how you can connect your domain. So first, you need to register and sign up. I've made a video showing you how to do all of that. But once you've signed up, you can sign up for free and it will then take you to this window where you can choose your account. So go ahead and create a account. I'm assuming you want to choose the free plan. You can also choose any of these other plans. But for most of you, click on the free plan and create now. Now, once you've done that, you need to go to custom domain. And it says here the domain name servers must be set to this one here and this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the name servers. So we're going to copy the first one. Then we'll go back to Hostinger. Make sure we're logged in and we'll find a domain that we want to connect. So if you go to your domain section on Hostinger, you can then find a domain. I'm just going to connect knowledgebasedvideo.com. We can click manage. And from here, you need to go to DNS slash name servers and then change name servers, change name servers again and replace name server number one in this first box. Then go back to the infinity free page copy the second name server here and then paste that in this second box and then click save. Once you've got those name servers changed, you can then go ahead and copy your domain. So copy your domain from Hostinger, then paste it in this domain box here and check availability. It's going to tell you that it's available and you can go ahead and then give your account a label and create a custom password. After you've done that, you can give email consent, which I'm going to approve, then create your account and then once you've created your account, you will see that it's been created. Now, what I would recommend you do is open the control panel and also click finish. Now, if you click on finish, it's going to bring you to this message and it will say if you can't see your website, if it's not up and running, it may take 72 hours for your domain name to start working. There's nothing you can do to speed this up. This will take as long as it needs to take. It's based on the domain name servers. So you can't really hurry this up. You just got to wait. Once you go to your control panel, just approve this and obviously it will load. And from here, if you scroll all the way down, you can go to the app installer. It's going to be under the software section and you can then go ahead and install WordPress. That will install WordPress. And if you just wait 72 hours, your domain should be working. Let's just go ahead and go to the domain and see if it's working. So you can see it's forwarded to Infinity Free. We just now need to install WordPress and possibly wait up to 72 hours to start working everywhere. So that's how you can do it. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching.